what we're doing and um, what you want to do today. This is our first weekly assignment, and we're going to be uh, working on four primary things. Um, the first one is the um, forgiveness kind of journal. And I realize that term can have different connotations, and you may have some, I don't know, opposition to that. What we're really looking at is beginning, and that's the key word here, is beginning the process of just letting go of irritations, angers, wrongdoing, and so forth. And we want to really pay kind of close attention to those things that kind of irritate us throughout the day that we may let um, bother us, but uh, maybe a little bit below our awareness. Um, so what we're looking at is just to uh, pay attention to those types of things, particularly pay attention to those things that we feel justified in judging, you know, certain groups, certain people, people with certain attitudes or whatever, because um, I think what you're going to find is that the more um, irritated you are, even if it feels justified, uh, the heavier you're going to be, um, the less energy, the less creativity you're going to have. So um, there's good research with forgiveness. I think it's really kind of catching up, if you will, to mindfulness. So let's pay attention to that, and we're just going to do, uh, do that. Now, you can do gratitude in addition. It's not like you have to give up irritations. Gratitude still works. But I think this is a little bit of a way of kind of just kind of emptying and beginning that process of letting go of the angers, the irritations, the frustrations. The next assignment, gratitude. And with gratitude, we want to pay close attention to the little things. Okay, So this causes us to stop. And use that acronym STOP, S, to stop, T, take a breath, O, observe our thoughts and emotions, and then P, proceed. And so we're going to use that uh, to pay attention to those little things, a smile from somebody, the wind uh, that we may feel, the sun on our shoulders, uh, a kind word. And that will be what we'll write down every night in our gratitude journal. Okay, So we want to do the forgiveness and gratitude every night or as, as often as possible. And keep record of how often you're doing this. Um, the third thing that we're looking at is mindfulness practice. Okay, So the stop is one. And um, I'm going to ask you to try at least maybe the mountain meditation or the lake meditation. I'm going to do a little video just on an intro to meditation, but the main thing I want you to keep in mind is that as long as you're sitting, whether it's on a chair or a cushion, or even if you're laying down, um, hopefully keeping your spine erect, and then just paying attention to your breath. And it could be as easily as noting, inhale, exhale. And when your mind wanders off, just bringing it back, okay? And if you find, oh, I was off for five minutes, bringing it back when being gentle with yourself, okay? So it's always nice that anchor is always uh, is um, kind of our key to awareness. And awareness is going to be much broader than thinking. Um, so this is what we're just kind of starting to pay attention to with the mindfulness practice. But you'll hear folks say, oh, I sit for an hour, or I go to a 10-day meditation retreat or whatever, and you may feel like, oh, I guess I'm not doing enough. Frankly, mindfulness is done throughout the day. And if really, if all you're doing throughout the day is stopping and taking that breath, observing your thoughts, and then proceeding, that's wonderful. You, you are already... Um, uh, you're on the road. You're engaging with full awareness. So that's the piece of this. And that's the muscle we're wanting to build here. Um, the last thing is the signature strengths. Pay attention to when you've used those signature strengths, those strengths that are unique to you, your own values. And uh, I think it can be helpful to go to the Authentic Happiness website. You've got to do this for the assignment anyway and take um, those tests, but particularly the VIA Survey of Character Strengths or the Brief Survey of Strengths um, can be a nice way to just kind of spark, oh, wait a minute, what are, what are the things I truly value and do I actually use those? When was the last time I actually used those? So you just write a little 300-page you know, paper about the last time you used one of your character strengths. Now, with all of this, what you want to do is just be sure that, um, first of all, like with mindfulness or forgiveness or uh, any of these, don't expect to feel better. That's not what this is about. What this is about is increasing awareness. Okay? 
and you may become really aware of pain in your body. You may become really aware of how many thoughts you have and how many negative thoughts you have and how your mind races. But that awareness is very different than being caught up in it. So this is really what we're wanting to look into. See, Chato really responded to that, you can tell. So those are our assignments, um, and I wish you all the best.